Hello fellow artists, this is Patricia Vargas of patriciavargas.com and today I'm going to teach you how to set up a mailing list and a landing page using MailChimp. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is create a free account with MailChimp. Once you have set up your account, you're going to log in and you're going to go to lists. And as you can see, a list has already been created for you and you're your own first subscriber. Congratulations. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that we can create a landing page. If you already have your own website, you can embed the sign up form right into your website page. And you can do this by coming over to the little drop down menu here and where it says sign up forms. So one of the first things that we have to do is build our form and we can do that by going into the form builder. So your page will look something like this and all of these are editable. So you're going to edit the logo and you can insert your own logo image or you can type in the name of your business. And click save. So as you can see, it changed it. And here you can edit this text as well. Now for a sign up form, it's pretty standard just to have an email address and a first name. You don't really need any other information unless you have a very specific reason. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this address box here. So we're gonna come down here to delete and delete it. Okay, so this is pretty standard. Now you can come into the design section and you can change the way it looks. You can change the background color. You can change the body, which is the media box surrounding your form. You can change the text, the line spacing, the font, color, whatever you want. So once you have designed it, we're gonna embed it into your website. So we're gonna go to embed forms. And the default one is the one that you just designed. You're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says copy and paste onto your website and you're going to copy the uh, code below and insert that into the HTML section on your uh, website page. Now if you have a page with very specific design styles you're actually going to want to select the naked form. So this form doesn't look very pretty right now, but it will actually take on all of the design styles that you have on your own website. And you're going to scroll down and copy the code below and paste that onto your site as you would with the first code. Now if you don't have your own website, I'm going to teach you how you can create a landing page right inside of MailChimp. So we're going to go up to where it says campaigns, and we're going to create a new campaign. Select create a landing page and you're going to type in the name of your landing page. Now you want to make sure that you have your list selected. If you only have this list then that's the only one that will appear but if you have multiple lists make sure the right one selected and click begin. So it's going to look something like this. Not very exciting, right? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this background color from being a light gray to having an image. So we're going to select image and I have already uploaded some images here but you can drag and drop or you can go up to the upload button and select your images. Once you have selected your image you're going to click insert. Okay so that's looking so much better already. Now let's add our logo. You're going to click the logo and select replace select your logo, insert. Now you can add a link. Since you don't have your own website yet, you can add in your social media accounts such as Instagram or Facebook. Okay, once you're done, you're gonna select close. Okay, so let's fix this header. We're going to change the font to something a little bit more modern. And a little bit of a cheat code here that I'm going to help you with. 
right here when you click on the um, HTML button you're going to see some line of code. Let's pull this out. We're going to come in here where it says span style and we're going to come right to the end here and we're going to close out this font family tag with a semicolon and we're going to type in letter spacing two pixels semicolon and as you can see that it changed the spacing between each letter and it makes it a little bit easier to read. Once you're done with the code you're going to come back here and we're going to change the actual wording coming soon and you can do this however you'd like going to select close and here we're going to change this font as well so select it and we're going to pick the railway so I feel like this text is too wide so we're going to change the padding on each side of it we're going to go back up to where the HTML tab is so we're going to come up here to where it says P and we're going to type in style equal sign quote padding bright 20 pixels padding left 20 pixels and we're going to close it out with another quotation mark perfect now I'll be giving you the codes in my blog post so that you can add these in to your own coming soon page if you'd like. Now this code is completely optional, you don't have to, but I feel like it helps it look a little bit more professional. So we're going to change the line height, which is the spacing between the sentences, and you're going to go to style, line height, and you're going to select the double spacing. Then you're going to select save and close. Let's pull this back out. And we're going to come down here to where it says email address. And you can see that our form is actually missing the name because it's unchecked. So we're going to check it and we're going to make sure that it is a required um, field that they must sign up for. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the color of this button and the style of the text for the form. Come down, you see how that looks, that looks okay. I think I like the Playfair better. I'm going to change the background color of the button. So let's pick a nice gold color. Copy that, and I'm going to change the titles as well to match. Perfect. And let's change the header as well. Come up here, come up here, select more colors, and insert the color. Perfect. Now that is looking so much better. And let's change out the hover style, hover color, you can make that into a nice pink color. That looks good. Perfect. Save and close. So let's see what this looks like so far in our browser. We're going to select preview. So this is what it looks like in our browser. And this is what it looks like mobile. Once you're happy with it, you're going to come down here to where it says save and continue. I'm going to add a page title.
And once you're done, you're going to click Publish. Awesome, you've just created your first landing page, congratulations. And this is your new URL for your landing page. Now, it's not very pretty and it's kind of long, so we're going to shorten it using Bitly. You're going to highlight it and copy it. Then you're going to go to bitly.com and paste in the URL. As you can see, it has given you a new shortened version which if you sign up for their account, you'll be able to customize the end tail of that. It could say something like bit.ly slash the name of your business or coming soon. And then you can plug that URL into your social media accounts. So there you have it. You've just created your first mailing list and a free landing page to start sending people over to and start collecting potential collectors, potential customers email addresses. Now if you found this video tutorial helpful, make sure that you hit that like button so that others can find this video too. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.